guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video, we're going to be doing this classic Christmas glam, like, glitter cut crease type of look. I don't know. Um, I, whenever I think of, like, the holidays, I think of, like, a silver cut crease. I feel like these are the tones for the holiday season. But we are coming closer to the Christmas holiday. I want to give you guys some awesome looks for this holiday season because I know some of you guys go all out and I know some of you guys go a little bit more subtler so I will try to get you in a more natural looking tutorial. Before we get started with the tutorial be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit the bell right next to it to get post notifications to get a notification whenever I upload on my channel. Let's get into the Christmassy vibes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I don't know if you guys can see this, but the background has changed to this lovely red color. And yeah, I'm super excited about that. Today I'm going to be doing a look that I posted on Instagram with my beautiful shirt with whatever his name is. But yeah, I just washed the face. Over um, yesterday, I used a Kat Von D palette that I did not think twice about. I don't suggest the other palette for the glitter shade because it transferred all over my eyelids. So we're, today we're gonna do other precautions. Just going to moisturize right now with the Glam Glow Mega Illuminating Moisturizer for that dewy look. Mm-hmm. Now this, like you guys, this will leave you smiling like a yummy, delicious creamsicle all day. So I don't know if I told you guys this, but I have been growing them out to the more of a nicer shape because I feel like my shape that I had them was not my favorite. So that's why I'm doing that for now. Um, I'm also trying this Kiehl's Oil Illuminator. I know I just put on the other one. I'm just going to use a little bit of my energy, life energy, illuminating and anti-fatigue eye gel from Lancome. Anyways, I finished my House of Lashes eyelash glue. So I had to buy a new one. Today's palette, I'm going to be using two amazing palettes today. Obviously, the first one is the one that I'm super excited about. It's the Fenty galaxy palette i want to say so it has all gorgeous shimmers this is what it looks like it's like super pretty and all these eyeshadows it comes with top three are i may have read those backwards Lily morello beauty hall violet volume two sorry Super cute. Ah. It comes with the palette, of course. It comes with a really long eyeliner, a lipstick, and a mascara. Her palette. This is the second palette. The first palette are some are more neutrals, and I don't have that one yet. So for the eyes, I'm just going to use soft ochre, like always. Go in with the Y10 brush by Morphe. And I love this brush. I use this for foundation. And just blend this out. We're gonna go in with the Chloe Morello palette first. And I'm just going to take the shade Topless, which is this shade right here. Put this all over my lid. Oh. I'm going to take the M441 from Morphe. And I'm going to take the shade Nini. I wanna take Coco, because I like that movie Coco. But this one goes in with the look more. And I'm just going to put this one in the upper crease area. For that, I'm just going to take the shade Pony down here. And I'm going to put this as well in the crease. Give more of a cooler tone of vibe. I'm going to take this shade. Matcha. Matcha. Don't know what that means. And I'm going to use a M562. This is going to go in the crease way more precisely. Now I'm going to take the shade Beauty, which is this shade right here. And this is a, a E36 brush. I'm 
Okay, so I quickly just cleaned up the lid portion. I'm going to use a Morphe 1 M167. Take the shade Ozone. I feel like this one will probably be similar to what I want in my eye. I'm going to use a little bit of glitter glue. Take a Y23 brush, taking the shade Beauty one more time. I'm just gonna go right. Uh, taking the Ciate Fierce Flicks, Fierce Flicks, a marker type of situation. Eyes are done, as well as part of the brows. I'm going to. Prime the face with the YSL Touche Eclat Blur Primer, Primer, Blur Primer. The shade is a little light for me, but I am using five in the Power Fabric Foundation. Six brush. Like it looks darker when you like apply, but then like once you blend it, it looks light. I haven't found a foundation that keeps me mad. <laughs> oh my god, on camera I look like a ghost. It doesn't even look like that on like like visually. Thinking me looks so ashy. For concealer, I'm just going to be using the Tarte Shape Tape. And I think this is actually darker than my foundation. <gasps> wow. The Y10 brush. Now that that is blended, I'm going to take the Y11 and I'm just going to take my Kat Von D uh, contour kit. I'm just going to set this. I'm just going to take some Laura Mercier powder. I'm going to go and bronze the face with the Y2 brush and the contour kit. We want to be chill for the holidays, y'all. I want to look like I didn't eat like three tamales, five tamales. I'm going to take the Y8 brush and I'm going to take the last Kuala. And this color is going to go into my contour. I'm going to lay it here, but then I'm going to brown out this contour. And then I also picked up this awesome uh, gift package. This is the Bring On The Night by Celic Makeup. I didn't use the eyeshadow palette because I want to give this one away. But I did want to use the other two palettes that are in this set. And this is originally $43. It was on sale for $30. And then it was on sale for $15. So it is the Blush by 3. And this is in Take a Cheeky Peek. Warm blushes, which is definitely what I need. I'm gonna first take the Y4, which is an angled fluffy brush. It doesn't have like a name to it, but it's just going to give us more like a warmth. Cheeking a Y9 brush, I'm going to go in with the actual peachy color and maybe a little bit of that one. And I'm just gonna go right here. Here is the highlighter palette. This one is the Sleek Solstice. It comes with two creams on the side and then two powders. I'm gonna go here. Taking the fan brush, I'm just gonna go up here. Just getting the seam up. So let's just snatch our nose. And then I'm going to take the shade Violet and Nini. And then I'm just going to blend the shade Platinum and a little bit of Halo. But I'm going to use those for the inner corners. Just brighten this one up. I can use the same mascara, the Ciate Wonderland. Mascara and for lipstick. I am going to use the new Patrick Star and Mac collection I used this in the original look. I used mama star 
Okay guys, so here is this. I'm just going to finally set my face with some fix pull on. Here is the final look for this Christmas dramatic a glitter cut crease pretty much. I really really like it. It's super classic. The tones speak classic like Christmas glam for me. Or you can do this for like Thanksgiving, not Thanksgiving, for New Year's. I know the foundation looks so white on camera. It is ridiculous. But I don't know. I don't know why it looks so white. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this look. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed this tutorial. <laughs> Be sure to hit the subscribe button down below. Be sure to hit post notifications to get a notification whenever I upload on my channel. Yeah. Let me know if you have any requests for Christmas looks. Comment down below what look to do next. If you want me to do another look with these palettes. If you want me to do another palette, let me know. Let me know. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.